The white Western world has successfully established that all the important inventions that changed the world were invented by white people only. It's because if they tell you about groundbreaking inventions by black people, it will dissolve their racist propaganda that black people are inferior. That's why you know about the light bulb being improved and invented by Thomas Edison or electricity by Nikola Tesla, but are unaware of more inventions that black people invented. These inventions serve humans and create ease throughout the world, but nobody is ready to honor their black inventors. What are those inventions that the media hides and who invented them? Welcome to a new episode of Black Africa Diary, a channel where we talk about black African history, culture, arts, and civilization. It's a place where you will see the real picture of black Africa, its stories and the events defining it. In this episode, we will tell you about inventions by black people that changed the world. Let's get started. Number 100. Traffic Signal Today, traffic signals have been adopted throughout the world, avoiding fatal road accidents that could have never been prevented if this invention had not been made. These traffic signals, a common sight on our roads, owe their existence to the visionary mind of Garrett Morgan, an African-American entrepreneur and inventor who lived in Cleveland, Ohio, during the early 20th century. In 1922, Morgan, the proud owner of the first car in the city, witnessed a collision between a horse-drawn carriage and an automobile. This incident prompted him to devise a solution to reduce such accidents. During that time, police officers directed traffic, but their signals were limited to a basic stop or go. Visibility issues and the lack of fine signals posed challenges for drivers navigating through traffic. Morgan's ingenious response was the development of a three-light traffic signal. This innovative device featured folding arms with signs indicating stop, go, and a midway position for caution, similar to the modern yellow signal. Placed on a post above the road, it significantly improved visibility for drivers. Operated by a traffic attendant turning a crank, the signal could be raised or lowered to convey the appropriate instruction. The stop sign could bring all lanes to a halt if necessary. In 1923, Morgan successfully patented his creation and subsequently sold the rights to General Electric for $40,000. Perhaps he did not know that his invention would be adopted by the entire world, becoming an integral part of the modern traffic system. If he knew that, he would never sell the traffic signal patent to a company. Today, it's essential to honor Morgan and his invention, which saves the world from thousands of potential accidents every year. Number 99, home security system. Back in the 1960s, America was unsafe especially for Marie Van Britten Brown, a black woman whose husband worked irregular hours, leaving her alone at night. Concerned about the high crime rate in their neighborhood and the slow response time of the police, Marie, at the age of 40, took matters into her own hands and conceptualized the first home security system. Inventing such a system was the most difficult task, requiring subtle attention to even the minutest details. However, she succeeded in inventing the first ever home security system that contained four small windows equipped with movable cameras, TV screens, and microphones. These cameras, strategically placed to monitor various areas, were connected to TV screens inside Marie's home. This allowed her to identify visitors at her door without physically opening it, providing a crucial layer of security. The use of microphones further empowered Marie to communicate with individuals outside her home without exposing herself to potential threats. Marie Van Britten Brown's innovative home security system marked a transformative moment in domestic safety. Her creation laid the foundation for subsequent advancements, shaping the security systems we rely on today. By visualizing a solution to address the vulnerabilities she faced, Marie not only safeguarded her home, but also contributed to the ongoing evolution of home security technologies. Number 98, Folding Bed. Back in 1885, Sarah Good, an African-American inventor, crafted one of the most celebrated inventions for ultimate comfort. Her patented folding bed served as a source of inspiration for the present-day Murphy bed. As the owner of a furniture store, Sarah saw a business opportunity and took a bold step. Upon learning about the space constraints in Chicago apartments, she set out to help. Sarah designed a bed that could fold up and be hidden, much like the Murphy bed we are familiar with today. You should know that Sarah was the one who gave the concept that led to the creation of Murphy's bed, not the other way around. 
It took the form of a cabinet that could transform into a desk, having designated spaces for writing supplies. Sarah's goal was clear, to create a bed that was easy to lift, securely held in place when folded, and provided extra support in the middle when unfolded. In 1885, Sarah Good became one of the pioneering African-American women to secure a patent for her groundbreaking folding bed. Number 97, Protective Mailbox. On October 27, 1891, Philip B. Downing received a patent that completely transformed the mail system. This patent was for a street letter box, essentially the mailbox we come across nationwide, allowing us to post letters at any time. In the early 1800s, U.S. citizens relied on post offices for their mailing needs, requiring long travels to local post offices. Recognizing the need for a more convenient solution, Downing designed the mailbox we all recognize today, a metal box with four legs. Being more than just a box, this mailbox was solving a problem, offering an extension of the post office at every corner. This invention ended the necessity of visiting the post office to mail a letter. It featured a hinged door that shielded mail from stormy weather and included a safety feature, ensuring the mail's security until picked up by postal employees. The Downing Letterbox patent laid the groundwork for the mailboxes we have today. Number 96, blood banks. It's impossible to quantify how many lives might have been lost without the contributions of African-American inventor, Dr. Charles Drew. This physician, researcher, and surgeon played a crucial role in revolutionizing the understanding of blood plasma ultimately leading to the creation of blood banks during World War II. The high casualties during the war created a demand for blood transfusions, but challenges arose in transporting and preserving blood for extended periods. Recognizing this issue, Dr. Drew focused his research on finding a solution. He developed a method to store and preserve plasma, a critical blood component, separately from whole blood. This innovation allowed plasma to be stored for longer durations without compromising its life-saving properties. Dr. Drew also introduced the concept of blood banking, involving the collection, testing, and storage of blood for transfusions when needed. Dr. Drew's work proved to be a game changer, saving numerous lives during the war and laying the foundation for advancements in blood transfusion techniques. His ideas and innovations formed the basis of the modern blood banking system that we rely on today. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Black Africa. Let's continue now. Number 95, refrigerated trucks. In the world of modern transportation and logistics, refrigerated trucks play a vital role in ensuring the safe and efficient delivery of perishable goods. At the heart of this groundbreaking invention is the extraordinary mind of Frederick McKinley Jones an African-American inventor whose innovative spirit revolutionized how we transport and preserve temperature-sensitive items. During the late 1930s, Jones received a request from Joseph A. Numero, an entrepreneur in the cinema industry. Numero needed a solution to transport perishable items like food and medicine without spoiling during long trips. Recognizing Jones's expertise, Numero sought his assistance. Jones took on the challenge and devised a brilliant solution a portable cooling system that could be added to existing trucks. This innovation transformed ordinary trucks into refrigerated vehicles, enabling the transportation of perishable goods over long distances while maintaining their freshness. Jones's invention left a lasting impact on various industries, including food, pharmaceuticals, and healthcare, streamlining global trade by facilitating the easier transport of perishable goods to distant markets. Number 94 automatic elevator doors. On October 11, 1887, Alexander Miles, a highly skilled inventor and businessman, secured a patent for a technology that would revolutionize how we use high-rise buildings. His invention, automatic elevator doors, might appear as a modest milestone in the history of technology, but his innovative design significantly enhanced the ease and safety of using elevators. Miles identified the risks associated with manually opening elevator doors in the 19th century, when operators or passengers themselves face the risk of injury or accidents. His design featured a flexible belt attached to the elevator cage with drums indicating the elevator's position. Upon reaching a floor, levers and rollers would automatically open and close the doors. The influence of Miles' elevator patent is still evident in modern designs, where the automatic opening and closing of elevator and elevator shaft doors have become a standard feature.
Number 93. Super Soaker Summer just wouldn't be the same without Lonnie Johnson's invention, the Super Soaker. Johnson, an aerospace engineer for NASA, introduced the popular children's toy in 1982. While experimenting with a new type of refrigeration system, Johnson, who had previously served in the Air Force and NASA, conceived the idea of a pressurized water gun. The concept came to him after shooting a powerful stream of water in his bathroom during experiments. This experimentation led to the development of the power drencher, the precursor to the super soaker. Number 92. Automatic gear shift. Renowned inventor Richard Spikes made a lasting impact on the transportation industry through groundbreaking inventions, particularly the automatic transmission for car gears. His innovations played a key role in revolutionizing automotive technology. Before this invention, Drivers had to manually shift gear, which was tougher than manual gear shifting today. Spikes devised the gear shift to maintain consistent gears for various speeds, making it easier to drive up hills. In December 1932, he secured a patent for his automatic gear shift device, marking a significant advancement in automatic transmission for automobiles and other motor vehicles. Number 91. Peanut Butter When people reflect on renowned African-American inventors, one of the first names that comes to mind is George Washington Carver. Carver gained fame through his discovery of over 300 different uses for peanuts, including the production of cooking oil, axle grease, and printer ink. As the first African-American student accepted to Iowa State, Carver excelled in botany and horticulture, swiftly becoming a campus leader. Upon completing his education, Carver assumed the role of Director of Agriculture at the Tuskegee Institute, influenced by Booker T. Washington. Despite the modest pay, Carver embraced the position, implementing his innovative crop rotation method that resulted in a surplus of peanuts. Carver's inventive mind then explored alternative uses for peanuts, bestowing upon us the cherished invention of peanut butter that we enjoy today. Number 90, Laser Faco. Before 1985, the world vision of people with cataracts fluctuated between hazy, clouded vision and total darkness. A cataract is a cloudy area that gets built up on the lens and has to be removed surgically to see clearly. However, those with cataracts hesitated to undergo surgery with a mechanical grinder. That's when Dr. Patricia Bath, a renowned ophthalmologist and a notable black inventor, dedicated her life to treating and preventing visual impairments. Her tenacious belief that everyone has the right to sight led to her 1985 invention of a specialized tool and procedure for cataract removal. Through the laser FACO probe and procedure, Dr. Bath enhanced the accuracy and outcomes of cataract surgery, a process previously conducted manually with a mechanical grinder. Dr. Bath's invention played a pivotal role in restoring the sight of individuals blinded by cataracts for up to 30 years. Would you like to know about more inventions by black people? Did you know that these inventions that make your daily life easier were actually invented by most genius black people that only a few know about? Let us know any invention you know that a black man or woman invented in the comment section right below. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We bring videos on Black Africa, its history, rich arts and culture, and things the world should know about. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.